years back in here. This I've been through in over 12 months. back to my channel if you're new here my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and bows I've been doing so for almost 10 years now but by the time this video is posted it will have been 10 years a decade I didn't even realize that it was a decade until I put something into it's not chat GPD but it's like that AI stuff and I was like write me a little caption to say like you know I've been in business for 10 years and then it said a decade when it wrote one back and I was like Oh my god! When you put it that way, that's scary. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be just cleaning up my studio. It is about a week, a little bit over a week into 2024. I have not tidied the studio since last year. It is a mess. There is stuff everywhere and it really needs to go back in its spots and I need to find new spots for new things. So I'll take you along with me while I tidy this up. So I might just show you my chaotic areas that really need some attention. So first up we have the table. This is just a mess. This has been piling up quite a few months. Uh, I just keep putting stuff over here. Don't even ask me what's in this box. I have no idea. So we're going to go through that box too. I have a pile of scrap materials that have like off cuts. So I need to find a spot for them because I'm not throwing them out. I, they might come in handy one day. I will be tidying up this because there is literally threads just lit look at that just they're everywhere anyway so I'll be tidying up that tidying up what is this what is this uh, over here just a plain old mess I love this that I've done so I think I might do that with all of them and sort of arrange it a bit nicer really running out of room maybe move ones that i haven't used in a long time into the cupboard i uh, also need to clear away to the cupboard because currently i cannot get into it the mannequin probably put that in the other room and all this i've also got a stack my doom pile of stuff don't know what's in there and then i've got also another doom pile over here two dresses uh a t-shirt there's literally a lot of clothes in this, I don't, my own clothes, I don't know. Then we've got like other bits and pieces, stuff I've recently purchased, stuff that I need to do. We've got the chair, the chair's back in here. And then we've got over here, I need to change this trolley out because this trolley annoys me <laughs> because there's a gap. So I'm going, I have purchased a white one with no gaps. So I'm going to change all the shipping supplies over to there. And then I've just got general like dirtiness. I guess, because I packaged up uh, the last of the 2023 orders in here uh, a few days ago. So I haven't quite cleaned up and like vacuumed yet for all that. So there's actually quite a bit to do. If you like background noise, this video is definitely for you. And I'll try and talk throughout as well. But I also don't want to get too distracted with things because I've got a very busy day. Let's do this. I do have this one, but I'm not sure which one to use. What I might do is put the plain colours in here, like white and black. And then all the colours in the wheel. Dude, this is like everywhere.
found these in the cupboard. I also found this in the cupboard. This I haven't been through in over 12 months. Labels. I think I'm going to go through all of this and sort it out. Because I want to do... I want to put these in like these little tubs in the colours and stack them neatly. So then I can also put like other sewing things in there like this and like these like neatly in there. Also, they, they ended up kind of cute. This one, which also turned out pretty good. I'm glad I got this. I got these from, well, AliExpress and Timu. So they are only like a couple dollars each and super good to organize things. I've got like stuff like embroidery thread in here. I'm guessing. Yeah, it's definitely embroidery thread. Oh, no way. I knew I had it. I knew I had this color. I needed this color to do my dress the other week. That was like the dress that was on the mannequin. And this color would have worked too. I knew I had burgundy somewhere. <gasps> okay, well that's where they are. I've got heaps of like Goodman thread in here. This one was like really thick. I remember it kept snapping on my machine. I'm gonna be ruthless and just throw everything. Remember when I made stickers? That's what most of this stuff is. Like the stickers. Maybe I should put these in orders. I think they're all used. This would be a pretty cool storage solution. I don't know what for yet, but... It fits perfectly in there. Nice. I think I've kept almost every single needle I've ever gone through. I don't know whether I should keep keeping them just for fun. Got different feet in here. I have no idea what any of these are for. But they're the real ones for one of the machines I have. Ah, oh, that's where they've been. They would have been useful. Will this make it really annoying for me? I feel like it will. I've separated them all. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm a bit fast and loose with everything. So I feel like even though it is nicer to have it in this, I personally will find it very irritating. I think they kind of have to be all out after all that. <laughs> Maybe they do need to be like all in this. It is easier for me to see. 
Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Just have it like that. Okay, yeah, if I am being honest, it is easier for me because I can just grab everything easily. And if I'm going for a couple different colors. All right, well, that's that idea. <laughs> Throw back to when I used to make bows and put little bobby pins on the back. I thought maybe the first bar I made might have been in here, but it's not. I reckon I'd be able to find it. I probably should find it for the 10 year anniversary photos. I knew I had battery somewhere. <laughs> I knew you had glue tack. I have a fridge now. I can put this on it. It's a nice bit of card. It's very thick. I'd like to keep it, but I should not. But maybe I will. Okay, I'm going to go put these in a separate location, which is where they belong. Or well, now that's going to be where they belong. I have not gotten very far and I feel like I've made it worse. So this is the new cart so i don't really know what i'm gonna do with it yet that fits, ooh, that fits there nice i'm a big fan that this thing fits in here I'm gonna put some new supplies in here. So these are my, like these labels. These for my birthday. I cannot do this with one hand. Oh wait, there we go. Business cards, I don't usually put business cards in the packaging, but for wholesale orders I tend to. For the scratch off cards, I'm hoping, I have ordered some like stickers to put over the top. I'm not sure if they're gonna come in time. I do have the scratch off cards too.
I thought I would have had some like folders here, but I don't. So I think I'll go buy some of these from Kmart. Just to put uh, like patterns in.
I have a lot of boxes like this, which I need to go through and work out if they have big enough pieces to make scrunchies and then cut them into the size of the scrunchies because otherwise they're just going to sit in this box forever. Whereas if they're in the tubs that I make scrunchies from, then we might be onto something new. <laughs>
I think I've done pretty well. These are scrap pieces that were not like the right size. These are all the regular size minis and I got petites back here and one XL. And then these are like super scraps, which I might do a project with them. So I'm going to keep them uh, a heavy emphasis on might. I am running out of motivation very quick. <laughs> I found them. I was like, I cannot find my two glues because I, I lost one of them. And I just found both in the same spot because I've already opened another one. Alright guys, I've just finished cleaning up everything and sorting out all these different boxes. This is how many tubs I've gone through and sorted them out into smaller tubs. <laughs> or, yeah, put them where they're meant to go. Been a lot that I've gotten rid of. I'll show you guys around. So I didn't really touch the fabric wall. Uh, I do want to resort it and like move all like the Christmas stuff somewhere else. And then put this stuff in, but I wasn't going to touch that just yet. So obviously we have... This over here. So I'm really liking how this has turned out. This is the stuff that was behind the door. I didn't really bother moving this. That's from Japan, all that stuff there. And all the fluffy stuff. But these are the stuff I'm going to make into dresses. This fabric here. And the bottom one is brand new fabric. Which I don't really want to touch just yet. Because I don't really want to put in the wall. And then have it get lost. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to leave that there until... I start doing the scrunchy wall, which will probably be tomorrow. Over here, much cleaner and tidier. Also, you notice there's nothing really on the bench. And I can actually see the colour, which is nice. And then over in this corner, there is no boxes there anymore. It used to be like up to here. So I've sorted them out into different places here. I've cut like heaps of regular size scrunchies. And then I put all the tubes that were already pre-sewn in here. And then I've just sorted out, there was like heaps of mini, so I've added another mini tub. And yeah, I've labelled most of them. So I'm really liking how that's turned out. And then in here I haven't really done much besides label the elastic. And what's in this one. And I've also put the towel scrunchies in here because I wanted to have the regular size and the tubes out because that would be used more than the stuff that's in here. And I also sorted out some scrap materials, which I want to use for a later project. I have like a full tub of scrap materials somewhere. Oh yeah, up there. Full tub there, which I haven't actually gone through properly like I did with um, the four other tubs that I went through. So that's still I need to actually go through. There is a tub up there and there should be another tub somewhere else. I've already forgotten where I've put it. There, underneath. 
so that's all folded neatly and can be used for other projects just not scrunchies because that's not enough scrunchies maybe minis but yeah anyway let me know what you guys think hopefully this gives you some inspiration to do some spring cleaning yourself i'm definitely yeah liking how it's turned out it just feels so much cleaner and just nicer <laughs> to be in because it was getting really clustered in here with too much stuff going on thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a lovely day bye Woo! <laughs>